Hi betting experts on Wednesday the 2nd of September. First of all, look back at our two bets at Ripon on Tuesday and we're off to Bath on Wednesday. The ground getting to be pretty good, uh, drying out all the time. It was on the softer side at Dex, but the weather forecast pretty set fair. We start off with our value angle selection in the two o'clock. This is the bet free tips at valuerator.co.uk apprentice handicap. Five furlongs, 160 yards, a class six, three-year-olds and upwards, a 15-runner field, so play win only. The one I think with outstanding claims is Tony Carroll's frustrating under curfew. Now, this one's been very expensive to follow this summer. Been sent off on his last five starts, five to two favourite, two to one favourite, 11 to four second favourite, 11 to four second favourite and five to four favourite, but he's run really well each time. He's had excuses. He seems to be stuck on a mark of 60. Last time out at Lingfield, he got an extraordinary ride from Rab Havlin. I don't think that experiment will be repeated. Looking to finish full of running in sixth, um, racing on the near side. He did possibly hang down the camber at Lingfield, but really, um, he never landed. But he flew home in the last hundred yards there on fast ground. Um, That experiment with Havlin's been quickly dropped and they've got Molly Phillips who's quite useful, takes off £7 in experience but really under curfew is a strong traveller who just needs daylight. There's loads of pace on in this race and hopefully the things will um, fade out of things in the final furlongs and under curfew you can see daylight and come through strongly. Around about 7 or 8 to 1 I think it's a fair price. As I say 15 runners so play win only. You'll be ridden for luck but there's not many of these in much form. Um, and under curfew is very much at the top of his game. For our nap of the day, we go to the 2.30. This is the EBF Novice Median Auction Stakes. Two-year-olds only, a class five. Over the same trip, five furlong, 160 yards. 16 runners this time. Most of them uh, are going to be better off in handicaps, haven't shown a lot, or in need of the experience. The one, I think, who sets a high standard on form is Soldier Lions of Eve Johnson Horton, and a dr- draw in stall two will be a big plus in this field. Um, there'll be plenty of them slowly away. I think Soldier Lions is likely to make all the running, get the far route, and not be passed. He's run three times so far, starting off at Leicester over six furlongs, when a very eye catching second behind Sadika, shaping really well. He was turned over at one to two. Um, at Yarmouth when second behind Alice Starr um, there was no disgrace in that at all Alice Starr looked quite useful there quickening up smartly and then last time at York I thought it was probably best run yet on the figures off a mark of 76 into handicaps in a warm nursery one by Cairn Island um, finished sixth there ridden with much more patience this time um, dropped out and running on quite strongly in the final furlong. It was an eye-catching run, but I suspect they'll go back to front running here. This represents quite a big drop in class, and the main form danger, Bobby on the beat, is drawn out wide in 10, which will not be an advantage. Best of luck on Wednesday, betting experts.